Where are we going? We're about to cross the border. I'm trying to go walking so it's gonna be a little easier, faster. Sencilla de harina, por favor. We left off when we were leaving Calexico, driving down the 8, passing El Centro. From what I know, like a lot of people from San Diego go to Tijuana to eat tacos a lot of times. And so getting there was like very different. I mean, the, the culture around the food, because a lot of those spots, they're called taco shops, but they're not necessarily just serving tacos, right? It's like a hybrid of Mexican and American food, I feel like. And I think that's like very San Diego. My dad, yeah. He taught us how to work at a young age, uh, stay out of trouble because it was a bad neighborhood too. He was very strict, seven years old. I still remember second, third grade. He grew up in the kitchen and everything. Started in the register, just put a, couldn't reach it. I had to put on a yelera to a couple boxes, get up there, start charging people because I was the only one that knew English. They might, not, they might see me like cholo, like I'm bald headed, but no, I'm a cowboy. San Diego. I would not necessarily talk was like based mostly like on the burritos, you know. We go through probably 2,800 pounds of carne asada a week. Uh, carne asada burrito and carne asada fries. Anything with carne asada and roll tacos. Those are the two main things that everybody orders. Everybody should try. Dude, we're, we're going crazy on this. I know it's not a salad tour or a rice tour. Mm -hmm. it's Go ahead. I'm just, we're respecting the San Diego culture. The name we built for ourselves because pretty much if you go ask a lot of people on the internet or whatever, they'll say Humberto's for the fries and burritos and everything, you know? Uh, but yeah, I mean, we, we've worked our asses on. This is not easy. You gotta be here 24 seven, be on call 24 seven, be ready at any time. Somebody didn't show up, boom, you gotta come here. It don't matter where you're at, you gotta come here. Cause you know the downtown is so close. After midnight, like today, like today, after midnight you see lines out the door. I would say people go to a taco shop for the carne salad fries and the and the California burrito, the taqueria straight taco spot. We visited one. I mean. They're up there with the conversation about the best tacos in, in San Diego, and, and from what I've gathered, they're probably some of the best. I mean, the, comparatively, you know, intentionally street style, you know, small menu. I can tell you, I'm not from Tijuana, but I love Tijuana. The biggest thing to be true food to uh, TJ style. In Tijuana, we use mesquite. So we actually have mesquite here. So we try to replicate everything that they do in Mexico uh, with the only difference that everything you see in here is a US, it's a US product. We did a very uh, extensive research on finding the right tortilla, right masa, you know, the right uh, cuts of meat and everything. We have our own uh, products, you know, for our, the tortilla that we actually have here. It's only special to us. You know, the recipes were pretty much on a trial and error base. There were many times I wanted to give up. You know, my helpers, they would tell me, you gotta, you gotta sell roll tacos because we wouldn't have not many people come in and then when somebody walked in, they wanted like a California burrito or they wanted some masala fries. And, and I, I used to tell my employees, I go, look, we have to train people that they're going to come in and eat tacos here. It took about a year and a half to two years for people to realize what we were actually serving here. Now, believe it or not, people come to what we offer. 
we're very consistent on our food. There's a lot of people who follow us, they come and eat, and they want to make sure that we replicate that flavor for them. I'm a fan of this meat now. I gotta, I gotta do mesquite sometime. I gotta do mesquite. I think you gotta figure out what your what your customer base is gonna be, what you're gonna sell, and you gotta stay true to that.